Okay, I'm gonna predict this is a diamond because it is huge. It is a diamond, brown trout. 10.44, I'm glad I recorded that. Wow. I, when I saw him, I was like, man, I've not seen a brown trout even close to this. That is insane. And of course the temperature, right there in that 47.5 degree, perfect, right where we needed it to be. Awesome. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, and as you just saw, we caught ourselves an over 10 pound diamond brown trout. I've been after those, not too bad of a grind for me. My buddy Mike told me they're one of the easier diamonds to get on Spain, and I have to agree, we weren't after it too long at all. I'm not even sure how many it took me to catch it. We'll have to look at that before the end of this video and see exactly how many it took me here on Spain. Just been out here working on my dailies a little bit. When I saw that guy, I knew I'd better record because he was huge mungus. Way bigger than any of these other ones. As you can see, they don't get as big as they do over on Troll Sporet. So they're a little bit smaller. That diamond was, I think, 10.75 that I just wheeled in. So let's see what we've got here. We've got 46.7 degrees. Now that's a little bit just a little bit too cool but i've been moving around a little bit you want to find somewhere between 47 and 52 and a half degrees been casting around a little bit and that's why so just a little bit left or right will take you a little out of that temperature range but that's okay you never know if they're going to come between point a and point b or bite right at the boat or whatever but they are a smaller fish and they are a slower fish, really lazy. Be ready to knock that down to a speed of one. Especially as you see them coming in, you may have to bump it down. And a lot of times your, your lure is still gonna outrun them to the boat. And you may have to short cast a bunch to get out there to catch them. And I'm, there's another 46.7 degrees. So we're getting into that little bit too cool right through here so I can just move around a little if I want I could actually probably cast a little more toward this direction I think I was getting some warmer temperatures over here so this may have been where I caught that diamond actually um, but I've been getting temperatures right around 47 degrees which is right where you want to be right through here so I might need to move around a little bit to get more in that pocket there's a pocket of perfect water right through here somewhere Guys, if you would, please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, notify bell so that you don't miss out on any content. I'm out here trying to put these videos out for the betterment of the community, share my knowledge with you guys. And again, some of those people out there don't really like the whole temperature thing and just go out and, and fish and that is completely okay too. I just pay attention. That one, that one's not gonna, all right, let's see if we can't catch this one. I see him, he took notice real late right there. Let's see if we can get him to get him to bite here. There we go, I saw him take off for it. Now I bump it down to one and he bites, okay. You have to do that a lot. They're slow fish, very slow fish. All right, now we're in that 48 degrees. I thought that was the direction that I was casting in earlier. But sometimes you go a few times without getting a bite and you want to go a little right or a little left and you start getting out of that temperature range. So a little bit left of that mark right through there in that direction. Pretty good little area to hit that 48 degree range. I was fishing at some of the other spots. There's only three reported diamond locations, but they're all on this lake right here. I believe you could probably catch them anywhere throughout this lake. Really. Guys, you can see where we're at here. Here's the, near this deep water here, but I was getting too cold of temperatures I believe too cold here in this deep water so I moved on out in this other shade and started getting better temperatures and I've just moved around a little I was getting the right temperatures all through here I just kept uh, caught all those fish out wasn't getting any more bites so I just kept gradually moving gradually moving around this whole area here just to fish for them and then here is the other spot 
in here to the other spot. Let's move on down here. I've not really fished. This one's been reported recently. At, at first, it was just these two spots. And then here, probably within the last week, we've had that spot reported. So we're just going to go on down there and see if we can catch a few fish there. All right, guys, we're at the second location or the middle location, as you may see here. We're right on a water depth change right here. So we're going to cast out here, see what happens. But before we do, I wanted to show you guys my setup. All I'm doing right now is I'm leveling up one of the Vred, Vredis Brigarian rods and the TF Chalker reel with the 22 pound line, which is way too much, but you never know what you're going to hook into. I like to be more prepared. And then we're just using the number seven spanner, the utility tool of all. So let's see what we've got going on. Now, to check out the brown trout a little bit, we see my diamond there was 10.44. And they like dough, spinner, pearl barley, but I like that spinner out there. I feel like I'm doing something when I'm casting really. So we got us a 10.44 pink diamond right there. And let's look at their traits. They just like to jump. That's about it. And then you can see they, they do like doe, spinner, pearl barley, which you see those three right there. But when you hit tab, leeches, marshmallow, minnow, spoon, cheese, bread, red worm, hot dog, artificial corn, and yellow corn. But they are not bottom feeders. I feel that spinner is the way to go for them if you really want to catch yourself some brown trout. All right, guys, I've got one coming for it there, so I'm going to drop my speed down to one, give them a chance to catch up. See, they're very slow. You should bite it about right now. There we go. Almost outran him to the boat, didn't we? Here we go at this new location, and the temperature is 56.8. We're, we're way too warm right now. Way too warm. We're about uh, three and a half degrees too warm, actually, there. So... This is not where we want to be. Now, I would continue to make sure I would cast around the boat. You can see the direction that I'm pointed in. So some of the things I like to do, if I'm casted that way and it's too warm, see, I'm casting out of this dark green shade that I was in. I'm casting into this lighter green. So that's probably why I need to cast more back in this direction and I'll probably hit some cooler temperatures. Let's test it out and see. Guys, this is a big fish right here. That's a big fish. What if we caught right here? That is a big fish. Whoa. Whoa. Can you believe that, guys? Two brown trout diamonds. Just caught one right before I decided to make this guide a few minutes ago. We come down here and tried the second spot. We were too warm casting in front of the boat. And I said, I bet if we cast, that was the first cast. That was the cast. The only reason that there was a little cut there is I said, maybe I won't get a bite for a while. So I won't record. That was the very next cast when I said, let's turn around and cast behind us and see what happens. Diamond. Wow, and 52.3 degrees right in that temperature. That's one of the determining factors of the water temperature. It's the color of the water. I, I, I kind of think that might be why they changed things because you all know it didn't look like that before. And now that we're using these water temperatures to help us catch these fish, I figured because I was having to you know, do that earlier, I started off down here, it's way too warm. And I said, well, let's go try the deeper waters. Got here and it was too cold. Started going in here and it was just right. And so I figured when we went here, you know, at first I didn't mean to cast there. So very first cast, very first cast, I cast behind us, diamond brown trout. Am I gonna get that lucky again? Probably not, probably not, but that's one of the things that can help you in determining temperature. Look, pay attention to the color of the water that you're casting in and then turn around and cast it back in a different shade of green, you know, or aqua, or blue, whatever that's called. And that's what we did there, guys. So a diamond merely seconds before I started making this guide, 
So I have caught a diamond. Well, let's look at the handbook. That, that should tell us the time, I believe. We caught a diamond um, at 1701. My other one was at 1644. So 17 minutes later, I caught another diamond brown trout. Look at that. That's insane. We're not going to hop down here. Honestly, you know what? We are going to hop down here, and here's why. I want to show you the temperature thing again. There are still a lot of naysayers out there for whatever reason. I don't really know why. But I'm going to hop down here and show you guys. I guarantee you, if I'm reading this right, the water temperature here is going to be too warm. It's just going to be too warm. You could probably cast all the way around the boat and it's going to be too warm. I could stay here at this spot all day and never catch a diamond. Well, not all day. Let me refrain. Just right now for the next little bit until it gets later or something and, and cools down. Probably as the day goes on. We're at 1035, so I could probably come back here this evening, 15, 1600 or so, and the temperature would be okay. But let's rule it out and let's see. Let's see what happens. Just let that set right there. I'll cut the film as soon as we get a bite. I'll start it back up. All right, guys, we just got a bite right here. We got a 5.44, 59.7, way too warm. I mean, we're 7.2 degrees too warm here. So that's the whole temperature thing, guys, that I've been trying to explain to everybody. Use the colors on the map to help you. This light green, all this area is going to be too warm right now. Up here, this is the shade we want to be in for this time of day. It's trial and error. I could come here next time I play at this same time of day and it'd be perfect temperature because, as you know, weather, the air temperature affects the water temperature. So it's going to be random. So that's where you have to fish. You have to find those spots for yourselves. Catch some fish. Look at the temperature. Cast in a different shade of water. Look at the temperature. Cast all around your boat. If it's too warm, move to one of the other known diamond locations. That's the strat. That's it. There is no easy button. I got lucky here and caught a second diamond. You're not going to do that. Chances are I got very lucky and caught a second diamond 17 minutes later. But that's because I was fishing that same temperature you know and that helps me look at the temperature is those color differences right there i've noticed that i've been noticing that noticing that in the last little bit as i've been experimenting with these temperatures is how it fluctuates and what affects it you know and it's usually the direction the fish came from or these uh, the depth of the water and all that so it's been working out really good for me uh let's have a look now at how many fish it took me to get two diamond brown trout all right, guys, for those of y'all that didn't know this, when you choose your map, like right here, before you go down and hit play, if you go up here to fish species, it will show you how many you've caught of every fish there. So let's look at the brown trout. Right here, 42 brown trout and I have two diamonds. That's pretty good. Look at the mirror carp, 368 and I have one diamond, but now I've caught a few after. Common carp, almost 501 diamonds all I've got. Uh, so that's pretty good odds right there. 42 total brown trout and two of them are diamonds and we caught those within 17 minutes of each other. So that's pretty sweet, guys. If you would, please do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if you are struggling with brown trout or not. I showed you the three spots that you can catch them at. You just got to check that water temperature, guys, and stick around the spot that has the right temperature, and you should do fine. Now, you may have to stay there for two or three hours, but if, as long as you keep getting those consistent temperatures, you should be in the right spot. Thank you guys so much. We will catch you in the next video.